All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Lachakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, There's just going to be a quick walk and talk, all right, on uh, you know, a quick article, all right. Once again, more prophecies unfolding, all right, and they're coming rapidly, man. The Lord got the prophecies on rapid fire, all right. This is uh, on RT News. There's um, one of them that says Trump prepared to handle responsibility of launching nukes. Okay. Now, the question is, why is this the topic? Why are they talking about this? You know, right now at this at this uh, point in time, knowing the tensions between Iran and the U.S. Well, the title of the other article says Trump says there's always a chance of war with Iran. You know, and these articles were published within an hour span. Okay, so he's saying that there's always a chance of war with Iran, which there is going to be war. All right, uh, the Third World War. All right, and Iran is going to be in there with the U.S., with Russia and China and these other nations. Okay, but it's very uh, interesting that he says that. So let me read a little bit of the uh, first article. All right, see how much I could get. Before I get to this train. So it says, if if and when the time comes, Donald Trump is prepared for the tremendous responsibility of pressing the nuclear button. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and really is this is the the spirit of the Lord, alright, that's on him to, to to take up that responsibility. Okay. It says, um, the US president has said as Washington locks horns with a growing number of states. The president made the comments during an interview with Piers Morgan on ITVS Good Morning Britain program on Wednesday. He says, when asked about the worst case, when asked about the worst case scenario of potentially using nuclear weapons in a time of war, Trump noted that it's a tremendous responsibility. However, he is ready. Uh, he is ready for the task. Okay, and we've been saying this for the longest because what do you what do you see going on, man? Ever since this dude got elected, that's the spirit he's been in. All right, the Most High has put that spirit, all right, of 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 just, you know what I mean, spearheading, you know what I mean, America, all right, into its destruction, and that's a form of the Most High speeding up the days. Okay, things aren't moving slow anymore, man. This guy came in, he's signing legislations, all right, he's pissing people off, he's pulling out of deals, you know, the INF. Okay, the, uh, the the nuclear deal with Iran, all of that. Okay, so we are in the time of war. We're in the time of prophecy. But you got people that won't hear it until what? Until uh, uh, the missiles are shot off. Okay, or until all hell breaks loose and they see death in their face. Maybe, you know what, because that's what it takes for some people. Maybe that's what they're going to need, all right, to have their eyes open, all right, or have their eyes pried open with their eyelids being ripped off. Okay, that's when they can see clearly. All right, it says um, it says it's a responsibility I'm prepared I'm prepared to handle. In the same interview, Trump also weighed in on tensions with Iran and the prospect of renewed military action in the Gulf. While the president said he would prefer to talk with Tehran over the di their differences, he insisted that denying the Ira Iranians nuclear weapons was a key issue. That said, a full-fledged war with the country is always a chance, he cautioned. All right? Now, why would he say that? Okay, because really in the back of his mind, he doesn't want peace, man. The most I put the spirit on him because we're in the time of war. And it's part of prophecy, and the prophecy will not be broken. Okay? So be prepared, man. Prepare your minds, man. And get right with your Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai now. Because once the missiles are shot off, man, which, like we always say... It's not going to, World War III is not going to come to pass until the prophecy of the microchip, all right? The, the, the mark of the beast is, is made mandatory. You have the martial law, you have all of that. However, if we're hearing talks of it now, which the Lord did say we'd hear of wars and rumors of wars, then, then that means what? We're even closer, all right? We're that much closer to these other ones, all right? So, you know, Lord willing, that was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom.